Welcome back to the Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay series. In this video, we'll focus on multiplayer, which enables you to take on new adventures and further challenges beyond the single player campaign. Multiplayer is a cooperative mode that encourages and rewards teamwork. Up to four players join together to survive escalating waves of enemies, complete a series of objectives, and extract from the battlefield. Let's jump right in. First, choose your character kit. There are over 25 character kits available at launch, including species from both the Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies. Each has a unique set of skills and abilities suited for different playstyles. From here, customize your loadout. Like the single player campaign, multiplayer weapons utilize Milky Way, Helios Cluster, and Remnant technologies. Each technology type gives you an edge on particular types of enemies. Over 40 unique weapons will be available with more arriving in the months to come. Any character can use any weapon. There are no class restrictions. Best of all, you can modify and upgrade weapons to give you an edge on the battlefield. Boosters are another element of your loadout, granting additional attributes like cryo ammo, increased shields, faster skill cooldowns, or even extra XP. I'm hopping into battle as a Turian Havoc Trooper, equipped for medium to long range combat with a skill focus on combat and tech abilities. Our Solarian Operator is equipped for medium to close quarters combat with a skill focus entirely on tech abilities. Our Human Adept is also equipped for medium to close quarters combat, but she's rolling into combat with a skill focus entirely on biotic abilities. Last but certainly not least is our Krogan Engineer. This bruiser of a teammate is gonna play a vital role in supporting us should things get tough. Looks like everyone's ready. Let's get to it. Here, we're on Firebase Sandstorm. This is wave four. We're taking on the Remnant, which will be arriving in greater numbers than in previous waves. We'll need to work as a team if we want to survive. Here they come. Wielding a Black Widow sniper rifle, I'll pick off some enemies with my squad mates. The Remnant have excellent combat range, and our position seems jeopardized, so we're going to rush ahead into the buildings where we aren't so exposed. The Nullifier and Assembler are stronger enemy types, but they're no match against a good fire combo. Still, the Remnant are advancing on our flanks. I'll post up behind cover and lay down fire with my assault rifle while my shields recharge. Looks like there's a clear path through these buildings, so we'll dart around and attack them head on. In periods of calm like these, always consider using the supplies you've carried into combat. It seems we caught these observers by surprise. Using our powers combined, they won't last long. Remember, the best kill is a combo kill. The remnant force has dwindled significantly, but those that remain are starting to swarm. Just like us, they're stronger together. It looks like our Krogan teammate needs some help. You can approach and revive fallen squad mates anytime, but be careful, as this will leave you exposed to the enemy. It looks like there's still a few stragglers. Let's send them out with a bang. We've cleared the wave, but they'll be back and in greater numbers. Make sure you and your team are ready. At launch, there will be five multiplayer maps, including Sandstorm. They are Firebase Zero, an outpost built into an asteroid. Firebase Icebreaker, a fueling station on a frozen ice-covered planet. Firebase Magma, a foundry set on a cooling river of lava. Firebase Derelict, an abandoned cat ship. And Firebase Sandstorm, a vacated Milky Way species outpost set in a sprawling desert. At the completion of a match, all players' XP, credits, and medals are added up and awarded to each player, so there's no need to compete with your teammates. Use your XP to upgrade your character and evolve existing and new abilities. Use your credits to buy packs and unlock weapons, characters, and mods. Then, put your strategies to the test in the next match. There's another way to engage with multiplayer missions called Strike Teams. From the Tempest, launch the interface for the Strike Team missions. Here, you send Apex Strike Teams on important missions for the Andromeda Initiative. You earn rewards from these Strike Team missions that can be used in single player. Missions can either be completed by your single player Apex Strike Team or by you in a multiplayer battle. As you play, you'll quickly figure out what works and doesn't for each character. Here are a few tips to help you jump directly into your first match and play like a pro. Always check your supplies before starting a mission. 
you never know when you're going to need an extra revive pack or a Cobra RPG. Begin your multiplayer adventure with a tutorial mission to earn some helpful rewards. Use cover. It's fast, easy, and it'll save you from taking too much damage. Play as a team. Stick together, support each other, and communicate. Working together is the only way to ensure humanity's survival in our search for a new home. We'll see you in Andromeda. We dream of exploring the unknown, discovering what lies beyond. The entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust. We need to find more resources, but that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind. Thinking I can see through this, see what's behind. I don't know to prove it, so maybe I'm lying. No way this is home. That's why I'm here, exploring the unknown. Who are these guys? Visitors, just like us. Girls, get around the shuttle now! Uh, nice work, kid. I'm only human, after all. I'm only human, after all. I'm only human after all, don't put the blame.